everybody, I'm here to do that pop culture video that I talked about in the previous update. Uh, this will be split into several sections. The cheat sheet will be down at the bottom in the description. Basically, I'll be talking briefly about Has Been Hotel, as is literally the rest of the internet, which it should be because it's freaking awesome that that many independent um, animators, independent of a studio, <laughs> put that together. Um, secondly, I will be talking about briefly some of the anime that I've been watching this last season, some that I've started this season. <laughs> Um, and then the last bit will be about some books that I've been reading and a lot of you are probably like, oh god, books? But like, hey, yes, books. Some of which, for me, like usually the books I read are fantasy, urban fantasy, um, supernatural, supernatural romance, and then historical fiction because, and mystery, because there's just a lot of the genres I like. So anyway, without further ado, I'm going to talk briefly, again, about Has Been Hotel because literally everybody else has already said what I would say about it, which is it was funny, it was irreverent, <laughs> which I enjoyed, and it was so fast-paced. It was just like, boom, right out of the, right out, man, right out. It was like the horse races. It was just boom, right out of the, the box there, which just kept, kept going with, with different dialogue and different jokes and everything. And I thought that was so amazing because literally every single second of animation counted because they were having to do all of it on their own. And so it was just impressive because they did. They made every single second of that animation count. And it was awesome. It was awesome. I hadn't been so like excited um, about a series in a long time. And you could totally tell, like I know the creator is super into Invaders of and, and all of that, like, and I'm just like watching it and being like, that's totally fine with me because you know, like a lot of people pay homage to works that they like, you know, in their work, okay? It's not like, oh my gosh, it's just like this. Yeah, well, you know, that's part of how the creative process can happen because people have different interests. And some of them may become like an amalgam of things, but it'd be also somewhat new. Like for instance, she's exploring material related to demonology, which is not exactly a topic on most American televisions or just any show in general. I mean, the closest, like, I mean, I was excited when they came out with um, with Good Omens, right, for, for Neil Gaiman, because I was like, oh look, finally, somebody's gonna talk about that. Or when they had, um, Oh geez, there was another show on Netflix named Oh Requiem that talked about some weird <laughs> angel kind of stuff, and I was just like, oh yes, good. You see, people always forget that angels and demons are kind of yeah. So that was that was great. It was funny. I loved it. End of story. Loved it. I, I mean, I don't want to say who my favorite character is because I feel like it's too early, and quite frankly, they were all just so in your face in different ways that I, I love them all so far. <laughs> um, yes. So that's just my brief gushy, terrible fan person explosion of my necklace going everywhere because I can't even of Has Been Hotel. Because seriously, I loved it, 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 I loved it. I loved it. And I know the critiques of it and different stuff and I just like, <sighs> a lot of people I'm like, dude, you're taking like, and I'm saying dude in the California way, like gendered, doesn't matter. If it offends you, I'm sorry, I'm not going to use it again. But it just stop. <laughs> just let us have this, damn it. <laughs> so moving along, I'm sure I'll be on a topic that people like that hate even more, because weebs. Um, do I give a shit? No. No, not really. Um, the anime I've been watching last season and this season, I was watching Vinland Saga. I was finishing up um, Kimetsu no Yaiba, which is Demon Slayer. Fire Force is continuing on. Dr. Stone is continuing on. Um, those are all just great shows in different ways, and I've really enjoyed them all. Of course, I've started watching My Hero Academia along with everybody else because I need that in my life. I think a lot of us do the state of affairs in the world and um even though yeah it's actually pretty serious uh it has some serious arcs in its own way um society uh yeah so i've been enjoying a lot of anime um when i was working on thesis and now my thesis for master's degree has been approved and i'm like i can finally kind of catch up on some things um because vinland saga and some others like dr stone and fire force kind of fell off my plate because i was so busy with graduate school <laughs> Um, but I'm, I'm catching up slowly. Um, 
so that's good. Also, I really, um, I've, I don't ever cosplay, okay, for a lot of reasons. Um, one of them is I'm super shy. Uh, but, but I actually thought, like, I love Thorfinn so much, I'm kind of like, let's do it. I, I actually want to do a gender, like, not a gender bend, because I want to actually, like, uh, emulate the character as he is. Um, but he, I really, oh, I love that, I love that series, it's good, it's good. And also, like, I'm part, I'm a part of a lot of different European countries even before my family got here to the States, and one of the things I am is I'm Swedish and I'm Danish, so I'm just kind of like, well, it's not Icelandic, that's for sure, but I'm also like, Scandinavian, I'll do that, like, <laughs> it's fine. So, yeah, yay, so I might actually decide to cosplay that eventually. Um, I thought about cosplaying Miss Marie, actually, before, from Soul Eater. And I really am enjoying Fire Force, by the way, because the creator of Soul Eater made that, and it's just, it's, it's, it's also an interesting story and commentary about, um, humanity and society and things. Um, so, enjoying. Um, speaking of such things, uh, Netflix, of course, had Evangelion that came out, and everyone was, like, both happy and pissed because translation stuff, and fly me to the wasn't used. I'm living in Las Vegas and I'm sitting here going, come on, like, the Sinatra Foundation couldn't be nice enough to just let them have that song for that one thing, really. I, bet if, I don't know if that decision was made after Nancy passed away. If it did, it makes more sense, because I don't think Nancy would have cared. I don't know that, but I don't think she would have cared that much. Um, the retainers do. Um, so, I don't know that, again, I don't know that. But, but yeah, so, um, I rewatched Evangelion for the first time because it's a very intense show and I get very emotionally involved so I was like finishing my thesis like I finished my research for graduate school and was like you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna rewatch Evangelion and I was like fool <laughs> um, but it ended up being amazing like it was before it was fine um, probably the anime I've rewatched the most in my lifetime is Serial Experiments Lane because I'm wacky <laughs> and it's my it's I I read a lot of philosophy books in high school, okay? And spiritual and religious studies book in high school, and for the rest of my life I have been. So Serial Experiments Lane is one that I've rewatched over and over and over again because what is real um, in The Wired? So yeah, my, my one that I rewatch the most is that one. I think for a lot of people it might be Evangelion. I think the one that comes close to that is Furikuri, the original. Although, yeah, I'm not gonna get into that. Um, Saint Seiya. The original, by the way, is on Netflix right now, and if you somehow did not know that, and you have always wanted to watch it, or you want to rewatch it, go do it now, because I've been rewatching it, and I've been like, Saint Seiya! I've been really, I've been so happy. <laughs> so, um, in fact, I was watching it on Netflix, and I was um, in, in my family's place, and my dad came in, and he was like, he's like, what is this? This is really cool, because like, he used to watch Voltron, okay? go line with me um, when I was little. Um, so he was like, oh, this is really neat. And then it's so 80s, and it's so 80s, and it's so 80s. And I do love it um, for a lot of different reasons. So yeah, if you've always, if you've heard of Saint Seiya, if you don't know what it is, go Google it. But like also, it's just, it's a good, it's a, it's a good, good Sentai um, uh, series. It's classic shonen. Classic, classic shonen. So, um, and I can't say more than that. She's like, go watch it, damn it. Uh, and also, it's like history. It's like it's like watching Evangelion, right? Like, that's anime history, right? Saint Seiya is kind of the same way um, for shonen. So, yeah. On the kind of transitioning from visual media that's motion on a 2D screen to, like, books, I'm going to link up just briefly the fact that I have recorded Catherine the Great on HBO, it was on HBO, but I haven't wa watched it yet. I've been kind of scared to watch it. I'm like, are you going to ruin how you portray her or, you know, because I'm in the States and they're trying to portray somebody who's Russian and I'm like, uh, you know, <laughs> the other things I am are like Polish and Belarusian, so like very different, but also Slavic. So when I look at things like that, I'm like, are you going to do this right or are you going to ruin it? So. We'll see. They do. And that goes into books because I'm still, it's a very large book. So I've been reading Robert K. Massey's Catherine the Great uh, biography to prep for that when I've been at physical therapy, when I'm on the cycle. 
So that's been cool. Like fully I'm trying to remember the actual series name. It was uh, the Knights. Was it the, the books of the books of Amba? That's what it is. I'm like I know it's Amba, but I can't remember what is the you know the books of Amba. Um, Empire of is it Empire of my brain? So many things. There you go. It was Empire of Sand, and then it was The Realm of Ash, because I'm like fixated on The Realm of Ash, because it's the one that it just came out, I believe, and I need, to, I need to go read it. Because The Empire of Sand was such an intense book, like it was such an intense book, but it was so good. And, and so I, I cannot wait to see the further adventures in The Realm of Ash. And that one is actually by um, Tasha Suri, and again, it is um, not, if I'm mispronouncing names, I'm sorry. That is not my intent, but like that is again another uh, fantasy series that is not is not European folklore based for once, yay! So, um, so I've been enjoying that one as well. And the other two things I wanted to mention is because I am like, um, I am self-professed supernatural romance trash. <laughs> so I'm I actually uh, really enjoyed um, Archangel's War. Which, funny enough, a lot of Nalini Singh's uh, books aren't always super into the romance part. It's almost just like reading urban fantasy. I think Angel's Blood, when it first came out, I have it when it first came out, it was like, it was just labeled as urban fantasy. Not like it should matter, but I'm not gonna get into the whole politics of when women write books and they're great and they happen to have sex in them and they'd be put automatically into romance, even though they should have been put into fantasy or urban fantasy. Because that's another debate entirely. But but Singh, and also there's not like an elitism, like there shouldn't be like a thing between who's better because it's whatever. So, but still, like I'm just talking about, hey, proper categorization of the genre would be nice. Sexist kids. Um, but Nalini Singh's works are really great. And I, <laughs> oh my God, our fandom for Guild Hunters, which is the series that it's from, had to wait a year from a cliffhanger on Archangel's Prophecy. So you can guess what kind of year that was, but it was so worth it. Archangel's War was a great book, and just each one of those books, like, the more that that that, that world gets gets um, illustrated to us through word, it's just been, it has been an amazing journey. And I'm like, I'm like looking at it, I'm like, I know it's probably gonna end soon, but I mean, it's gonna be, I mean, it's one of my favorite series now, just in books in general, okay? Guild Hunter series is. Um, so that's Nalini Singh. I just enjoyed that book. Um, and the other one that I just downloaded, because <laughs> I'm impatient, and we hadn't had anything from the Demonica universe in a while aside from some novellas. And the novellas were fun. I had more than one that were kind of like favorites that I've like reread, like Azagoth, and it was just, it was, yeah. So the next one is, um, is called Reaper. And it's number 19 in the Demonica universe. Again, this is categorized as supernatural romance. I kind of debatably, I'm kind of like, yeah and no, because like again, I almost feel like, well, yeah, it has sex elements in it, but I'm kind of like, it kind of belongs maybe more in, in urban fantasy. Like, I feel like it does. Um, also, Larissa, I don't know if it's Ione or Ione. It's driving me nuts, I wish I knew. But her last name is Ione or Ione, I-O-N-E. So Larissa writes those, okay, so that's her universe, the Demonica universe, and I have not started reading Reaper aside from the first few pages, and I'm already kind of like looking at it being like, I want to finish this immediately, which is usually how a lot of her books are, <laughs> so um, that's been fun. Um, just, yeah, um, I'm, I've been enjoying getting to read um, much more as far as like genres I, I that are, are, are um, fiction as opposed to sitting there doing tons of academic research reading <laughs> like I've had to so um well, dog not like something oh he's opening the door there must have been another dog outside he must have been like ah big dog um it's my dog Jeffy Jeffrey and Adam came with those names they're corgi mixes they're really cute but they're <laughs> they're very loud <laughs> as you would imagine <laughs> they're good dogs though um, and they're getting to be older. So that's my pop culture update. <laughs> the whirlwind of pop culture update. So yeah, that's what I've been consuming as, as a consumer in this society. 
with pop culture. And uh, yeah, it's it's been fun. Um, again, I'm just relieved to be done with the master's thesis, but I'm also applying to doctoral programs and formal work again for the first time in a while because my health wasn't good for a few years anyway and I, I literally couldn't work um, due to physical um, mobility problems. So that, yeah, adventure time, am I right? We each have other, you know, different things we're going through, so. Um, I hope that maybe something I mentioned was something that you were like, well, that sounds interesting, you know, <laughs> or or maybe nothing I mentioned sounded interesting. Maybe you're like, well, this was a complete waste of time. Either way, thanks for watching. Um, if you want, go ahead and subscribe. This is a very kind of random channel, and that's why it's eclectic entries, is because I kind of just put whatever I want up here. You know, like how the internet used to be when it was first <laughs> made? It was kind of like, we're not focused on branding, we're just focused on, you know, doing a thing. And that's me. So... <laughs> My name's Kelly. Thanks for sticking around. Take care of yourself as you're able, okay? Bye.